Welcome friends, in this one second look at finding the empty derivative of 1 over x squared multiplied by the square root of 25x squared. First of all, it says the following that you have that square root. So what this allows you to do is say that x is equal to 5 sine of u. So u in this context is basically like an angle. U, let me make this note, as an angle. I'm using that instead of theta because u is easier to type. Which means the following is true from there. That du, once you differentiate, would be equal to 5 cosine u du. Now what you can do is rewrite the square root of the integrand, that part, as follows. You can type square root and then 25 minus 5 sine u. And the whole thing is squared. And then from here, the next step would look like 25 minus 25 sine squared u. And the next one here, pull the 25 from each term inside there. So this would be now under the root symbol 25 and then 1 minus sine squared u. Lastly, you can replace 1 minus sine squared u with uh, cosine squared because it's equivalent to it by basic trig. So that means over here now this would become the following. 25 cosine squared u. And then you simplify this into 5 cosine u this way say. So now we can rewrite the whole integral as follows. Put it back down here and then the x squared part that has to be replaced. It's going to be here 5 sine of u squared now and the root part that can be replaced with 5 cosine u and the dx part from above there can be replaced with the following. This is dx over here not du. So dx 5 cosine u du is what you're going to put in for dx down below. So it's going to be here, 5 cosine u du. And then from here, well, take a look. Let's simplify what we can. Cosine can be canceled with cosine. So for now, that's all we can really do. And then you got to also do 5 sine of u squared. So when you type that, it's going to look like the following at the next stage, essentially. 1 over 5 squared is 25 sine squared of u. And then here it's going to be basically just du. Continuing from here, it's going to be the integral. I'm going to put that 25 outside, so 1 25th. And then 1 over sine squared of u, you can write instead as cosecant squared of u this way with the du over here. And now the antiderivative of cosecant squared of u is negative cotangent. So for that reason, you can write the following negative 1 over 25 cotangent of u plus c. The last part that remains is this one. We need to replace cotangent of u. So let's do this. Draw a triangle in here. Let's do that right now. So the triangle will look like this. And then over here in this position, this is your u. And then according to our definition, remember we had that up here on the right hand side, x was equal to 5 sine of u, which means if you divide both sides by 5, it tells you that x over 5 is equal to the sine of u, which means, in other words, that this has to be x, this has to be 5, which means by the Pythagorean theorem that the lower part there that has to be equal to the following, 25 minus x squared. You can check it for yourself using the Pythagorean theorem. That's what it turns out to be right here, which means that below, to make use of that, this is going to become now negative 1 25th, and cotangent of u would be the root of 25 minus x squared divided by dx. That's the definition of the cotangent function. So this here, in other words, would be now 25 minus x squared over x. Let me not misspeak, plus c. And then this is the answer. If it's been helpful, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.